Hi there, Matt Allington here, and today I'm going to talk about one of the limitations in Power BI. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the matrix visual and one of the limitations that it has when compared to a pivot table in Excel. And then I'm going to show you how you can solve this particular problem directly in Power BI using the Info River custom matrix. Okay, so I've got the AdventureWorks database here, the standard database that I normally use. And I'm just going to build a matrix using Power BI. So I'm going to bring product category into this matrix. I'll also bring calendar year into the columns and I'll also bring total sales into the matrix. So let's just have a look at that to start with. I can come up here and expand and collapse this section. And at this stage, everything's fine. What I'm doing here in a standard matrix is perfectly fine. Where it starts to become less useful is when you start to have multiple measures. So if I was to bring in, for example, total sales last year and that, that into the matrix, Yes, I can see them in the matrix here and it's fine, but there's really only one option. You have the year along the top and then these measures are appearing as a subset of the column. That's the only option you have when you do this within a standard matrix in Power BI. Now let me contrast that with what you can do in Excel. I'll just use Analyze in Excel to illustrate the point. So now I've got my pivot table connected to my data model and I'll basically build the same report. So I'll bring calendar year onto columns, just collapse everything here. I'll bring my product hierarchy and I'll bring those two measures that I had before total sales and total sales prior year. So I've got the same expand collapse here and at this point in time I've got exactly the same layout where I have the column names which is calendar year and underneath that I have the measures. But I have the added ability in a pivot table to drag these values down here and basically stack the measures one on top of each other on rows if I want to do that. So that's the second option you have in a pivot table. And the third option is I can drag these values up above the calendar year and first of all show total sales followed by total sales prior year. So a lot more flexible within Excel. If I bring in another measure, then the, the benefit sort of increases there again. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how I can solve this problem using the Info River custom visual. So I'm going to switch this over to Info River. And at this point it looks fine, pretty much the same layout as before. I do have a total here which I can turn on or off. I might just go this into uh, full screen. And now what I can do is I can come up to the layout and go to this measures. And this is the default behavior, which is same as the matrix. But now I can say, give it to me in rows. And what that will do is it'll bring the, um, the measures that I've got onto rows. I'll go and bring in that extra measure just like I did in Excel. And so now you can see I've got the measures um, appearing on rows. And then if I choose to, I could, well, I'll, first of all, I'll put it back up the way it was before. And then the other option is to switch this over. So I'm going to put the measures in columns. And so the measures start off first, then followed by the, the column data, which is the calendar year. Now, one of the benefits of this is I can now come into Info River and I can actually hide some of these columns that I don't want to see. So maybe I want to see total sales for all years. Um, I only want to see total sales prior year for the year 2020, so I can hide those. And maybe I only want to see the percentage change for 2020 as well, so I can also hide those. So this is a much more flexible approach using the Info River Custom Visual. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below.